Hello, I'm Wasis Martin, the Regional Washer Advisor for IRC Uganda, based here in the Kawarole District, a rural district where the system's approach to delivering sustainable wash services has been tried and is providing promising results. Some good examples already exist in the field, so I would like to take you to some of them to meet the stakeholders, to meet and see for yourself what uh, the system's approach has been able to deliver a sustainable, reliable water system to the communities. Hello, Hello Stephen. Welcome, hey. This is a Mukumbwe borehole in Rubingo, Karambi, Sabu County. It's one of the reliable, functional, and well-serviced uh, hand pumps that we think is an embodiment of a well-functioning wash system that is happening in Kavarole. We prepared this borehole as IRC through the Hand Pump Mechanics Association of the district and handed it over to the community. And since then, it is serving them well. Uh, before the borehole was repaired, we were fetching water and not paying anything, which resulted into a problem, especially when it could break down. It became too hard for us to solicit money to repair the borehole. And so people resorted to fetching dirty water. And that's when we applied through the sub-county, applying to IRC to come and re repair our borehole. For this system to work or to move on very well, we have been working with very many sectors, especially political leaders, the community, uh, the private sectors, NGOs, and the HPMs. The hand pump mechanic has been coming monthly at the end of the month to check on the meter and how the system is moving, especially when we need some servicing, mm -hmm. a general servicing and the, the minor servicing and reading of the meter. We managed to carry out an assessment in Kabarole district uh, of all water sources which are functional and non-functional and we, su we submitted it to the district whereby the, sub the district also managed to share the assessment report to the partner NGOs which work in water and sanitation. There came IRC which was enticed by the report which we made and it involved us as the hand pump mechanics and the association in general. Then we managed to select some of those water sources. One of them is that one which you are seeing, which is Mukumbwe, which we managed to repair on a pay-as-you-fetch system. We again work hand-in-hand hand with the sub-county where we have these water sources. We work with the extension staff, the CDO, the health assistant, and the political leaders. We also work with the district court office supports us in giving us more work from the from the district and the payments from the water sector. Even TSU, that is Technical Support Unit 6, also is in support with the HPM Association and we work hand in hand with them. The good achievement is the Ministry of Water and Environment managed to look at what we are doing and decided to give us mandate to repair the water sources within Kabarole district. The system's approach is a quite participatory approach where different stakeholders share information and take key roles in the water and sanitation activities. As a district, we appreciate this kind of system because it enables us to plan further as a district and not replicate say resources, activities, so that we best invest where it is due. We have formed committees uh, during uh, the sharing uh, meetings. For example, the committee in, for, in charge of 
uh, operational man maintenance or asset management, a committee in charge of planning and finance, a committee in charge of water quality testing, and a, a, a committee in, in, in charge of monitoring, and through that kind of systems approach that we are trying to develop a district master plan to ensure that where do we prioritize? Say, for example, in the district, we have water-stressed sub-counties like Kavende, like Kasenda, like Karangura. So any investment in the district, we directly focus on such areas, such that we have what we call universal access for all. Everybody should be, in, should be taken on board, leaving nobody behind. Actually, IRC has done us very great work because at a, at a district level we are somehow constrained in terms of resources. But through IRC, it has always invested in resources, it has always invested in the energy to mobilize us to ensure that we have meetings. <laughs>